we'll be studying the development of xenopus that is frog so first of all overview of fertilization in frog it happens externally that is outside of the body of the organism uh, in female egg the cell division is halted at meiosis 2 in prophase 1 and uh, it regains from that point after the fertilization occurs with the sperm and then the se second meiotic division starts and after that there is cleavage which occurs um furrows are formed uh, longitudinal division is there horizontal division is there so we'll be studying this in detail so uh, in frog egg there are two poles one is the animal pole other one is the vegetal pole animal pole is also known as animal hemisphere while the vegetal pole is known as the vegetal hemisphere animal hemisphere is yolk poor and vegetable hemisphere is yolk rich the main difference key points of difference between vegetal hemisphere and uh, animal hemisphere are these so vegetal hemisphere is usually larger it's yolk rich and the it contains the components that are required for pro proper differentiation of the zygote after fertilization and growth of the egg so basically the components that are required they are present in for growth and differentiation of the egg after fertilization they are present in vegetal hemisphere and <clears throat> the cytoplasm of uh, vegetal hemisphere is light in color due to lack of pigments in case of animal hemisphere it's slightly smaller than the vegetable vegetal hemisphere and its yolk poor sperm usually tends to enter the egg through the animal hemisphere and the cytoplasm of animal hemisphere is dark in color because there are pigments present <clears throat> so the point at which the sperm enters that dictates uh, the anterior or the posterior region of a particular organism so the region uh, at which the sperm enters becomes the ventral side that is the front region while the opposite exactly opposite to the point of entry of the sperm that becomes the dorsal side or the back region so as we can see this is the egg and this is the sperm so uh, this is the point of entry of the sperm so where the point at which the sperm enters is the ventral side and the point at which which is exactly opposite to the entry of the sperm is the dorsal side and it's usually the ventral side the entry of sperm is usually through the animal hemisphere and the other one is the vegetable vegetal hemisphere when <clears throat> as soon as the sperm has entered the nucleus the cytoplasmic content starts to migrate and there is this angle formed we this process is known as cytoplasmic migration and motor proteins are involved which provide the energy for the cytoplasmic migration because the cytoplasm uh, for uh, <clears throat> for which the formation of zygote is complete and after this process after the cytoplasmic migration occurs there is no external modification and only internal modification occurs within the zygote and actin proteins which contain actin fibers they maintain the shape of the cell so this is the cell there this is the cortex region it contains loose cytoplasm and this is the dense cytoplasm of the inner region and <clears throat> the cortex region in animal hemisphere it contains pigment and due to that reason the cortex of animal hemisphere is dark in color and uh, the cytoskeleton it's present in the cortex region it can be easily modified theek okay? hai uh, than those in the inner region so the cytoskeleton in the inner region remains intact and due to which the structural integrity of the zygote or cell is maintained so the structural integrity of the zygote or cell is maintained because the cytoskeleton present in the inner region remains intact and the cytoskeleton present in the cortex region remains uh, can be easily modified due to which cytoplasmic modification is easy or the cytoplasmic migration becomes easy <clears throat> so uh, the cell rotates its cytoplasm for the rearrangement of cytoskeleton and uh, this rotation of uh, cytoskeleton is signaled from site of entry of sperm nucleus so how does this happen is uh, 
from the animal hemisphere from the point where the sperm is entered the cytoplasmic region will slide slightly and uh, is incorporated into the animal hemisphere so like an anti clockwise anti clockwise uh, direction rotation happens and there is a specific angle that is formed because of the rotation that occurs in the cytoskeleton of the cell so some of so in during this rotation what happens is that some amount of vegetal hemisphere mixes with that of animal hemisphere but in the cortex region the outer region so due to this mixing of the cytoplasm of the two hemispheres there's a, a region form which is gray in color and uh, this region is called gray crescent and the uh, process is called gray crescent formation and this gray crescent formation is important for the movement of cytoplasmic content from the vegetal to animal hemisphere so it is a very important part the formation of gray crescent formation is very important uh, and this gray crescent is always formed from the point that is opposite to the entry of the sperm why is the gray crescent formation important because there are components in vegetal hemisphere that are required for the differentiation of animal hemisphere and through this gray crescent these components are provided to the animal hemisphere through the window of this gray crescent so let's suppose if we are exposing the vegetable to see if there is any uh, component present how much it affects the mixing of these components uh, so if we expose the vegetal hemisphere to uv radiation what happens is the uv radiation will destroy the components of vegetal hemisphere and the cytoskeletal structure will be disrupted and because of this there will be no gray crescent formation it will be blocked so we have to uh, two fertilized eggs over here this is the animal region of both and this is the vegetal region of both uh, in in this case we are providing uv radiation only to the vegetable vegetal hemisphere and one is controlled so in case of vegetal hemisphere since the components of the vegetal hemisphere are destroyed we we get a belly piece that is undifferentiated mass of cells and this will not create a normal organism and in as per the control cell wherein there is no uv radiation provided a normal organism is developed again the inference that can be developed uh, from this experiment that why did uh, normal organism did not form in both the cases or in the case where uv radiation was provided was because there was no mixing of cytoplasm and uh, <clears throat> since the vegetal hemisphere components were destro destroyed so there was no mixing and hence a normal organism could not be developed it only gave rise to a belly piece second case may we are providing uh, exposure to the exposure of uv radiation to vegetal region and then we are keeping it in gelatin both in both cases we are in both we have two uh, fertilized eggs and we are providing uh, exposing them to uv radiation in both cases but in one case we are we are uh, both of them we are, we are uh, immobilizing in gelatin and in one case we'll be tilting the uh, gelatin container so what happens is um, since the coat cortex region of the cell solidified or solidifies along with gelatin so it won't move on its own in the case where we did not tilt the container there is no movement of inner cytoplasmic region and so the setup is kept straight we get a belly piece but where we tilt the container there is movement of inner cytoplasmic region and there is a mixing that occurs due to which a normal organism is produced so the inference in this case is that uv radiation doesn't play any role in destroying the potential of uh, vegetal hemisphere in transferring the components of differentiation for the growth of normal human normal organism and um, mixing of cytoplasm of the vegetable and animal hemisphere is very important for the formation of normal organism <clears throat> one thing that is uh, really important in case of uh, cleavage or division of the cells is maintenance of polarity so uh, 
polarity determines the differentiation of cells in different regions of the zygote. Uh, for example, we have animal pole which contains less dense cytoplasm and we have vegetal pole or vegetal hemisphere which contains the dense cytoplasm. This undergoes cleavage and forms two cells further following into four cells and uh, eight cells so far and so on. So maintenance of polarity during cleavage is required so that uh, it determines the poles of the organism and uh, uh, the cells which receive more cytoplasm for vegetal region are at the bottom side, while the cells that re receive maximum cytoplasm from the animal pole, they are on automatically at the upper side. So, nucleus division is the same in all the cases. However, the cytoplasmic division differs. So, in certain cases, there is uh, more cytoplasm from the animal region and in other cases, there is more cytoplasm from the vegetal region. The Vegetal region contains more components uh, which are required for differentiation. So the cutting of the cells in segments, they happen vertical matlab, to see ki, uh, experiment to see how is this uh, polarity determines the creation of a normal human being. We cut the cells in segments. In one experiment, we cut the divided cells in vertically where each of the cells get uh, equal cytoplasm from both the animal hemisphere and the vegetal hemisphere. So in both the cases, normal organisms are created, which are smaller in size. However, if we uh, cut the segments horizontally and separate out the animal hemisphere part and the vegetable hemisphere, sorry, vegetal hemisphere different. So we observe that we get belly pieces in both the, both the cases and no organism is created. So we know from this experiment that for growth and development of our, any organism and all the fully functional uh, organism, both the cytoplasmic content of the vegetal hemisphere as well as the animal hemisphere is required. Uh, early stage cells of gastrula are not committed to produce a particular type of cell. However, the end stages cells of gastrula are committed to produce a particular type of cell. So in early stages of uh, gastrula, the, the cells are mostly totipotent. What is totipotent? Totipotent being totipotent is having a capacity to produce or give rise to all kinds of cells in an organism. So all the cells of blastula are totipotent. Totipotency of cell is lost after the differentiation occurs. So during the later stages of gastrulation, differentiation occurs. So gastrulation in next part is the gastrulation in frog zygote. So uh, this point, the most part of embryogenesis is done. And during gastrulation, there is production of different cells and different cell layers at gastrula stage. And at the time of gastrulation, the arrangement of cells in different forms of different layers occurs because these layers will determine what kind of organ will organ and organ system will develop from the cells. So the cell differentiation begins from late blastula stage and it finishes after the end of gastrula stage. Um, so during blastula stage, Layers of the cells are arranged in different regions. A bottle, there are bottle cells which are present. These are also known as guide cells and they guide the other cells during gastrulation into forming the different layers. So uh, through the guidance of these bottle cells, uh, the structure is like this. They have a broader base and apical region. The cells start rotating in a anti-clockwise direction and they start arranging themselves in different layers. So there's a blastocele that is uh, created. There are uh, mesodermal cells, ectodermal cells and endodermal cells. <clears throat> and through this rearrangement of cells after they are moving in anti-clockwise direction, the end results of gastrulation will be that we'll be having the different layers will be separated, the ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. And uh, it is important to note that during this gastrulation, if there is any problem in any of the steps of gastrulation, it will generate an abnormal embryo and that will result into an abnormal adult organism.
so first from the blastula stage we have here the cells are rotating in the anti clockwise direction so there is a difference between the outer cells they migrate in anti clock uh, sorry outer cells they migrate in a clockwise direction like this the ectodermal cells they will rotate in the clockwise direction while the inner cells they will rotate in the anti clockwise direction like this and uh, after this a blastomere tissue is formed and as and when this rotation is happening anti clockwise and clockwise so there's a formation of dorsal lip here Dors do dorsal lip is formed and there is this formation of a uh, primitive gut which is also known as archenteron so bottle cells are guiding the movement of cells and as they start to move small openings or hole like structure appear at the junction of ectoderm endoderm and endodermal uh, and bottle like cells <clears throat> at this point the cell division occurs at a very rapid rate and along with the cell division the movement of cells is also occurring there is a blastocele which is constricted due to the movement of cells into the region so this blastocele region it forms the primitive gut which is also known as the archenteron and the dorsal lip it forms the blastopole which eventually becomes the anus of the organism then after this rotation a second set of bottleneck cells is generated which further guide the uh, cells of the gast at the gastrula stage into formation of different layers so the different layers are formed and all the different layers have different function which give rise to different organ systems of the body uh, so ectoderm gives rise to skin and sensory organs mesoderm gives rise to reproductive organs bo bone system and blood circulation system endoderm gives rise to digestive and respiratory systems uh, the dorsal lip will form the anus and this is how after after these systems have been formed the complete development of organism has uh, is completed and uh, a normal xenopus frog is created so this was it for the development of xenopus or frog or uh, any amphibian for that matter hope it helps thank you so much